This is Jesse Dickens, Liverpool fighter. Make sure you subscribe to Sport and Icons. So big news just in. For those who like the lower weight classes, of course, and of course British boxing, such as myself, um, big news in that Jamie McDonnell will defend his WBA bantamweight title against Inoue. Now, Inoue has just moved up, and this will be his crack at a world title. And Jamie McDonnell, big, big props to him for this one, because not only is he defending his title against somebody who's tipped to be one of the future stars, if you like, of boxing, potentially, um, especially coming out of Japan, but... Like I said, Jamie McDonnell is actually going to Inoue's backyard in Tokyo, Japan to defend his title. Now, Jamie McDonnell, um, he's a brother of Gavin McDonnell who won the weekend over Gamal Yafai in a very one-sided fight. Very good fight, actually. Um, he's 31 years old and he does have a record of 29 wins, 13 of those by knockout and two losses. But of course, his two losses were way back when. In 2008 and 2007 where he lost two fights on the bounce first one was a split decision um, lost to Chris Edwards and then he lost straight away after that to Lee Haskins Lee Haskins of course his last fight he lost to Ryan Burnett in a very good fight as well so this is big big props to Jamie McDonnell and um, Jamie McDonnell is Trained by, obviously, his brother's trainer as well, Anthony Fowler, Tony Bellew, plus a few others in David Colwell. So coming straight out of Liverpool, if you like, but he's originally from Doncaster. Mm -hmm. Now, Inoue, he's young, he's 24 years old. He's undefeated, 15-0, and 13 of those by knockout. So he's got some power on him with a percentage of 87% a knockout. Um, he is a former super flyweight champion. For the WBA, and now he's moved up, and he can be taken on Jamie McDonnell for the same belt, but at a high weight, of course, at bantamweight. So, this guy Inoue is tipped by many to be one of the rising stars coming out of Japan. But of course, at the lower weights, there are so so many, so many. Now, I'm not really surprised that Eddie Hearn has made this fight because um, obviously he loves to work with the stars, if you like, of the world, you know, he was always wanted to work with Triple G, he'd done that with Kel Brook, he always wanted to work with Vladimir Klitschko, he'd done that with Anthony Joshua, and a new age just now, plus many, many others, so this is not a great surprise from an Eddie Hearn standpoint, if you like, and that's not a dig, by the way, um, but I think that uh, Jamie McDonnell, that's showing some guts, real, real guts, now, even though Jamie is the champion, I would probably imagine most bookies will have Inoue as the favourite for this one. Even though he's like a pretty young into the game, if you like. But he's exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. And being in Inoue's backyard as well in Tokyo, Japan. you kind of got to hope that uh, Jamie McDonnell is going to try and knock him out. But personally, I'm not too sure if he's going to knock him out. His knockout ratio isn't that good with 13 out of 29. Not that good really. Um... But you never know. You never know. But uh, Jamie McDonnell is a very, very good fighter. Now, his last fight, well, his last two fights, if you like, um, he got a unanimous decision over Solis. And, of course, then the rematch happened as well. And then um, due to uh, cuts, that ended in a third round NC, if you like. So it's not really um, part of his record, if you like. But... Solis was a very, very good fighter, or is a very good fighter, I should say. So, Jay McDonnell has been in there with some top lads as well. Uh, Fernando Vargas as well, and uh, he knocked him out. Now, not the biggest name in the world, if you like, but still. Um, Jay McDonnell's got a very, very good crack at beating Inoue. But, um, obviously, Inoue, a lot of people would have liked to have seen him take on some of the bigger guys first before he moved up, but... It is what it is. Um, clearly, he wasn't too happy about making weight. So now he's going to be uh, moving up to bantamweight. And his very first fight there will be against the Doncaster lad, Jamie McDonnell. So big props to Jamie McDonnell for defending his title against this guy. And not only that, going to his own backyard in Tokyo, Japan. Big, big props. 
See, British fighters, we're not afraid to travel. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe, big shout out to the A-side boxing community, hashtag ASBC. I shall update you guys with more information on that in due course. Catch you next video.